Do you ever find yourself lying on the bed with the lights turned off and you looking at your Facebook feed on the phone, scrolling your way through? An amazing black coach is motivating his team. If you win the arena and your whole body gives up, you are left with just two options. It's not about those who get in the fight. It's about those who fall down but still hold the courage to stand up and rise. My friend, the two options aren't if you win or lose. It's about the battle inside you. <laughs> Thing about Facebook is, the videos start playing without you, can, you touching the play button. So, if you pass via the most inspiring video ever, then you just have to stay till the end. Scroll, scroll, <laughs> whatever, scroll. Whoa. Your friend just updated his profile picture. He's out on a student exchange program in Europe, making the cliche standing with the tip of Eiffel Tower under his fingertip pose. Ah, uh, whatever. At least he's having fun. Unlike me. <laughs> scroll, scroll. And realize, it's been three hours since you came to bed. <laughs> Tired. Three hours since those just three more minutes had begun. Three hours since you've been avoiding your life problems with, by putting yourself into a void of social attractions. Well, then, you rub a tear that just almost fell into your ear and go out into the real world. Because depressed is what you definitely don't want to become. So then, you walk. You walk and walk. To get some assignment sheets and a bubble gum. Because what better than your most strict professor's assignment and a pack of gums to help you distract from your own reflection? Then you sit on a park bench in the corner of the street, listening to people talking. That continuous irrational blabbering, which now kind of feels like music because maybe you want to avoid the question which finds its way to your brain too often. What am I doing in my life? Are all these efforts even worth it? Then you take another gum out of your pocket. And well, keep thinking. These questions, you know, Maybe this is just an irrational sum of so many constant unexplained feelings and you don't really have anything coming out of it. No, <laughs> I, I don't call it self-assessment, no. It's, it's just my regular 2 a.m. overthinking. <laughs>